Recently, I was asked on Partyball BBS, or rather Synchronet, to film an authentic C64 BBS session, including a CRT monitor and all the bells and whistles. So let's get started right away. All right, let's begin by loading the excellent terminal program CCGMS, a classic choice for C64 BBS sessions. Of course, the original Snobsoft monitor is being used again. Staying true to the authentic retro setup. That classic CRT glow really sets the mood. The connection to Partyball BBS is handled by the GGLabs LT interface, which via a null modem cable is linked to a mini PC. I've explained the detailed setup in the null modem cable clip, which I'll link below the video. Let's go. Now, first enter the complete address of Mikey's BBS. Don't forget the correct port. Yes, connect. Now nothing can go wrong. Oops. That looks like something bigger. This is not just a normal crash, but something like a kernel error. But as an absolute C64 hardware pro, I immediately know the ultimate solution. True to the motto. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello, IT. Yeah, have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello, IT. <laughs> Something's wrong with my computer. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, no, no. Oh dear, thanks. And of course, I also tried turning the C64 off and on again. It works. Hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed for me. So the next attempt to log into the BBS in Ohio I've definitely made much more progress now. Now just log in. Here we are again at the point where, unfortunately, I can't use my usual terminal turbo term. With it, you get stuck at this stage. Shout out to my buddy, Hanno Behrens, the author of Turbo Term. You should definitely check out the Party Bowl BBS. Mikey is not only the nicest sysop I know, but the Synchronet system that the BBS is connected to is fantastic. For me, it offers a great combination of old-school BBS charm with smooth usability. Plus, 
Synchronet doesn't have the typical spam you'd find in regular internet forums. Here, it's all about the content. No flashy gimmicks, just pure discussion. Ideal. Additionally, in BBS, there is still a freedom of speech that, especially in Germany, we can currently only dream of on the normal internet. Just making a crude joke about a politician can be enough to get a stormtroop house search soon after. Sadly, this is no joke. Just Google Habeck, house search, and Apollo News. J.D. Vence was so right with his famous freedom of speech address in Munich. All right, back to something more enjoyable, the party bowl. So as you can see, navigation works very well even with 300 board and my CRT monitor at 40 characters. Oh, and speaking of advents, here he is, no pun intended. Okay, better get that post in fast before the C64 decides it's had enough again. Yes, this just proves once again that when posting early in the morning, the brain doesn't always keep up, especially when you're in a hurry before the C64 starts acting up again. So in case there was any confusion, I obviously meant to film myself posting with the C64, not using the C64 as a filming device. That would be quite a challenge. But I think you all know what I mean. And speaking of not being fully present yet, I completely forgot again how to exit the editor or save the posting. Especially when sitting at the C64 in ASCII mode. I keep trying different keyboard shortcuts that don't work. Every failed attempt looks a bit like I'm playing Pong or something. And as you may have already seen, the solution to the problem is right at the top above the posting window. Type slash question mark on a new line for menu. What I finally notice after yet another eternity Here we go.
and then it takes quite a while again until I find slash S. Made it before the C64 kicks the bucket again. Now get out of here quickly. While the message menu is slowly building up for reading at 300 baht again, I can conclude that it's especially fun to access a modern Synchronet BBS with a real C64 setup from 1985, complete with a CRT monitor and all the bells and whistles. Of course, an actual modem dial-up connection would be another level, but my phone budget isn't enough to risk an international call from Germany to the USA. In the other direction, Partyball Sysop Mikey has already tried dialing into Snobsoft BBS in Germany using a modem, as you may have seen. I've linked that video under the clip as well. Okay, before my aging C64 gives up the ghost again with a kernel error like at the beginning, I'd better get out of here quickly. I was especially delighted by the overwhelming response to my Making of Snobsoft video. Feel free to comment under the video what you'd like to see next. I'm open to all topic suggestions. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. Also, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Share the video or recommend it to others. Touch of time.